Goodbye. I wasn't playing, Tony. I just wanted to see if it would work. Get in the car. Get up, come on. Spaghetti, Landy, the manja patati. Spaghetti, that's my name in the middle. Eh? <laughs> well, tell me, where, where are you bound for so early this morning? Well, I just closed them up my flower shop. In the winter time, I don't care. But when the spring time, April, she come. Well, I get sick from the elevation uh, railroad noise upstairs, so I pack them up with the old music box, dig them up with the camp outfits, and I fish them up, Capitano, and Joe, and me, and Capitano, we travel a long way. <laughs> Well, that, that isn't my idea of a pleasure trip. Uh, you know that, yeah? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, then how are your family? Or the family, they're fine, no. Tony. They're yeah. fine. That's it. Uh, and uh, Patricia, the big fellow, what are you doing now? Patricia, you're the big fellow. The, uh, Pat, what, Pat, Pat? Didn't you hear about him? No, what? Why, he's going on the force. Oh, like his pop. Eh? Chip off the old block. <laughs> and the pretty girl, this is the operation girl. Uh, the, the who? The one who worked for the telephone company. Oh, you mean Molly? Yeah. Oh, she's a fine girl, that Molly. Yes, and you got two new ones, the little one, got the same kind of face. How is it? Oh, you mean the twins? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, they're fine, Tony, the both of them. Sure, you <laughs> couldn't tell them apart to save your life. Uh, how many you got now? How many have I? Yeah. One, seven, eight, nine. Sure, there's eight. <laughs> you better make up your mind. Get out of here. Oh, no, don't hurt me. Get out and don't let me see your face out here again. Yo, yo, wait a minute. I, I am a I'll tell your man story. Walk. You, you'll be sorry for this. Uh-oh, here's another one. Uh, What's the trouble here? No, I've been robbed. I have a hundred and twenty dollars in a watch. When I went in that cheap dive and somewhere took it. Rob, <laughs> how do you get that way? Listen, Santa Claus, you was ordering champagne all night, wasn't you? Well, you can't get that for nothing. I tell you, I've been robbing you. You, you were in on it, you hussy. You cheapskate. Uh, Last night you was bragging about your bankroll and your loving disposition. This morning you start crying for your ma. Oh, I've met you up kind before. Oh. Oh, I'm sick and I need a doctor. Ah, he's not sick, he's drunk. And what he needs is a bromo seltzer. You piker. Well, I'm sicker well, you can't camp around here. Now get a move on, you know, I have to run uh, you in. Uh, just, just one minute, uh, Mr. Policeman. Just one I, I think I recognize this gentleman. Huh? I don't know you. <laughs> I, I got your face, but I can't put you. I, Ah, pay no attention to that, Tony. These kind of things happen around here all the time. I think I'll run you in anyhow. Come oh, on, George, let's go. George, please, George, one minute, Mr. Policeman. Don't worry. I, I, I take care of these gentlemen. I be responsibility for him, eh? <laughs> well, all right, Tony. If you'll I take the responsibility, it's okay with me. I take. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's the matter? You, you don't feel pretty good, eh? Oh, no. no. How you like a nice cup of black cigar? Ah, oh, I, I love it. <laughs> I just love it, I think. I, uh, I take care. That's good. You know, it's true. It's true. I've been robbed. I had it. Hey, Joe, you, you sit in the grumble seat. You get in. Look out now. Don't pull yourself out. <laughs> You're right. Well, I wish you luck, Tony. Well, goodbye, Irish. Go home and count your kids. <laughs> Make sure how many you got. You know you're going to be in a home all night, eh? Yeah. You know, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, 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 Look, Captain, don't follow you yourself down, eh? Oh, look, Tony, he's he's doing a shimmy dance. Hey, stop, stop with that! You're shaking yourself like that. What do you think you are? You think you're the Coca-Cola dancer? Hey, stop that kind of stuff. Now, you stay and watch this car till I go inside and I don't move from this spot. I'll take this man in the coffee shop. Okay, come on. Okay. 
<laughs> the man who owned this place is a big friend to me. Eh? <laughs> Now, you see you said that you're going to be all right. Hey, <laughs> son! Tell me, Paisan. Don't tell me, Paisan. I mean, Napolitan mangi macaroni. What do you want to be a friend? Hey, it's accompaniment. I said, I'm going to be a vocal. I said, Joseph, I'll be a jackass. I'll be a accompaniment. I'll be a jackass. I'll be a jackass. I'll be a jackass. I'll be a jackass. It's important to have a cafe with this gentleman. What are you asking for? Coffee. Andiamo forte, forte, forte. Eh, no, io drink all you want. Eh, eh, eh. Sto troppo malato quel signore. Well, Tony, ain't you married yet? Eh, c'è mare, no, kill me, eh. Married. You know something? I never hear find the woman what I want to make the marriage up with. I don't know. I don't want to make the marriage with a woman just to be the cook. I want... I want the romance. I want to follow myself in the love. Well, up to now she don't happen, eh? Ma so right. Ma è finita la cosa. No, tu dormi, tu non lo so. La cattarella. E il pazzo di lei, tutti i ragazzi, questi giovani, giovani, sono americani, questi ragazzi. Poi, chi è la panza come una signorina? Chi è la panza, lei è la grande panza, io mangio tanto il paghetto. Mi lo sta sempre. Mi lo rosso, vedi? E so, che la fa? Oh, Nicolás! Hey, somebody stop him! Stop him! Yo, you wanna shoot me again, eh? Sure. I shoot you right now. Well, good. Sure. Well, once more I am killed. That could be for the promo of the July. Yeah. Gee, you have me. Yes, Joe, all the time you want to shoot at me. When I don't let him shoot at me, I make a feel of bad, you know. So I buy him a couple of 4th of July cups of pistols and, and uh, all the time you want to shoot. But now you want to kill everybody, come up to hear the music. So I tell him, most and shoot nobody else, only me, nobody else. Sure. <laughs> I shoot Tony. I kill him. Dead. I'm General Joe. Okay, General. I got him trying to buy it, eh? <laughs> Sometimes he kill him 50, 60 times a day. <laughs> but the cut piece, we don't talk about it. It does. Oh, now you feel a bit. Now you go to home, eh? Yeah. Uh, I lost my ticket. I haven't got any money. I can't go home looking like this. A tramp. No, I, I ought to have a coat and hat. That's you want a coat, eh? Coat and hat. You don't got a coat. Hey, uh, Joe, I get one. Joe, you go to the car, you get my longer coat, the overs coat. The longer one, eh? Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Lemson, you want a hat, eh? Yeah. Hat, hat for you. It's a cabello. I don't know the thing. It's a thing about cabello. It's a cabello new. It's a porta cabello, Rosa. Press, press. Press, press. Oh, who's it? Did you have one? Who's it? It's my hat. It's your hat. Yeah, it's new, eh? Dervish hat. Hey, hey. Ooh, it's a... Look like a cockroach. Give me. Hurry up. ですね、ゲット。だから、で、の、あ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょ
Tony, you might as well kiss those 20 bucks good boy. Yeah, 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 boy. Ye
Pa. I didn't expect you so soon. Till you're in, quite ready. Come on in, boys, and sit down. Land sake, what's happened? Ain't you going to be elected? Where's June? When did you get me her? Well, call her in here. My stars, what's June been doing? Never mind, get her in here. June? June? Come in here. Mr. Johnny has something he wants to say to you. Yes? Yes, Uncle Mills. I have biscuits in the oven and I can't leave them long. Well, you'll soon find out this is a good deal more important than biscuits, young lady. Step over there. I've heard some mighty unpleasant things about you. You have? What are they? You were seen last night at Taylor's Roadhouse with a young man. Oh, my soul. Well, is it true? Yes. I don't see anything wrong about that. You were drinking, weren't you? Ginger ale. What was in the ginger ale? Oh, why, nothing. Uh, I don't believe it. Any girl who's brazen enough to go to that notorious place wouldn't hesitate to lie, either. That's ridiculous. It isn't notorious just because people go there and dance and have a good time. You'll take this a little more seriously before I'm through with you. Who was the young man you were there with? A boy I know. I want his name. I won't tell you. <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you'll tell me that man's name and tell it quick. You better not be stubborn, June living here under my protection, and then sneaking out to vile places with low companions. Who was your partner in sin? He's not a partner in sin, and he's not a low companion. He may be a little weak in character, but I wouldn't call him a sinner. Land sakes, before I was married, I never went out in the evening with a man after nine o'clock. Not even with Mr. Journey. I can hardly believe you'd behave in this manner after the decent way in which I brought you up. You didn't bring me up. I was 16 when you took me in. All you've done for me is to make me a hired girl without wages. Why, June? You're not hired help. You're one of the family. Enough hired help to cook all the meals. And enough one of the family not to be paid for it. You're a thoroughly bad girl. Dad? Yes, and Avalonia doesn't want your kind. Bad because I went out to dance and have a good time? Milton. I don't think our Earl ought to listen to this. You're quite right, Mother. Earl, leave the room. All right, dear. Well, now that your son is safe from contamination, what are you going to do with me? What's the verdict? You'll have to leave my house. And I'll be glad to get away from such narrow, selfish people. Get out of my house and stay out. A fine reward for my working these past five years as I have. And not six days a week, but seven. You stopped everything else in this town on Sunday, everything but me. That's the day I start working earlier and finish later. A big breakfast because it's Sunday. Rush off to church because it's Sunday. Hurry home to cook an especially big meal because it's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And now you put me out of your house because I go off on a harmless little laugh. For fear it might prevent you from being re-elected and married, you old hypocrite. All right, I'll go. You have $2,000 that my mother left me. Well, uh, you can't have it. I can't have my own money? No. It's left for me to decide when you should receive it. And I refuse to give it to you just now. All right. I have a little money. Enough to get away from here. Away from... From you! Oh, June. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I know you think I'm yellow not to tell, but, but I just didn't have the nerve to. My pa would have killed me for it. He wouldn't have put you out on the street, though. Say, you were a peach not to drag me in on it. Better run along. You'd be caught, caught talking to the more leper. Where are you going? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. Ooh. Oh! Oh! 
my bag. It's all I've got. I don't want your bag. I just want to shoot you. Hey, what's the matter? You are more crazy than I think. Then I told you to shoot just me and nobody else? He's in the I'm paying attention to him. I got scared. It's uh, a fine man you are. Get scared. A nice young lady like that. Go get the coffee now. Go on, Orio. And don't shoot nobody else. Yes, go on, Orio. Go on. Orio, go on. I'm sorry. I... Don't, don't, don't pay no attention to Joe. He's, a, he's a, not a very well. He, he's a little sick in the head, you know. He, he's just like a little kid, isn't he? <laughs> Perhaps it's silly for me to be so scared. Yeah, but he, he, he make you cry. Oh, no, he didn't. I, I was crying when I met him. Oh, you, you got some special kind of trouble, Senorina? Why should I tell my troubles to you? That's true. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I make a mistake. I, I know introduce myself. Eh? I'm called Tony. Antonio Giovanni Raviello Garibaldi Mussolini Camaradonio. <laughs> that, that is one big bread for the name. Eh? <laughs> uh, what name you got? You don't want to tell me your name, eh? My name's June Ramsey. June? June. Yeah, that's a pretty name. So don't you want to sit down and uh, take a little rest of my camp? Thank you. You're a gypsy, aren't you? Who? A gypsy. No, Catholic. I don't know, maybe I'm a gypsy too. Sure. <laughs> I like to walk on the open road and sleep in the night time under the stars. And <laughs> but I make no trouble nobody. Maybe you tell me your trouble, maybe I'm going to be a big help to you. Eh? Never mind my trouble. I, I really must be going along now. But uh, uh, the next town, that's a long way, about 12 miles from here. Me and Joe, we come here this morning. You want some arenas to here and I have a nice picnic uh, supper with us. I'm going to cook a nice coffee, spaghetti Italian style. You know, when you finish, that's all right. You're going to go, what do you say? I didn't know I was hungry. But when you talk about spaghetti, I... Watch I, me. <laughs> Please let me help. I'm a good cook. No. I, I suppose you're going to tell me after a while you was a higher girl, eh? No. No, I'm not a servant. No, I bet you my life you're no servant. <laughs> Please let me do something. Make the coffee. Don't you believe you are just the companies for the dinner. Now, you. Come. Sit down there. That's good. Sit down there, please. Come. Come. <laughs> now, now, while this spaghetti she cook, I'm going to make it a salad on dressing. Ah. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Eh? Uh, that's the fragrant flower of the Italy. <laughs> the Italian forget-me-not. Well, you take it off the overcoat, see? Take my one piece like a little one, see? Three, yeah, see that? <laughs> Push him around the ball, choke him out, in, you take the lens. See, like that one. <laughs> That's good for the inside. Yeah. 
take a little for the vinegar, a little bit, not too much, and a little for the olive oil, stingy with the vinegar, plenty with the oil. <laughs> it's importation. Yeah. And a little for the salt, yeah. See? <laughs> a little peps, then, then you push them up a little bit. Yeah. And now she's ready for the eat. Well, I'm sure it's going to be awfully good, Mr. Uh, whatever that long name of yours is. Hey, Tony, that's long enough. But I don't know you well enough to call you by your first name. Then tell me something. Hey, what do you believe the way is to get it better quite and quick? Why? I... Well, by talking together, I suppose. All right, then you commence for talk. I don't talk nearly so nicely as you. You talk. Tell me something in Italian. Did they tell you uh, something in Italian? <laughs> Bambina mia. E vostra faccia come la Madonna. E te do gli occhi come due stelle. Credemi, se dico la verità. E te occhi gli accendono un volcano di amore nel mio cuore. Te amo tanto, tanto. Te. Oh, that sounds beautiful. I... What does it mean? That's a mean. Uh, you are a nice girl. My opponents are to toss a bombshell at me, which would blow my campaign to pieces. But this bombshell has been turned into a boomerang. You all remember that the good book says, if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out. Well, when I discovered that a member of my own household had gone to a notorious roadhouse, did I try to hush the matter up? Or keep it secret? No. A thousand times no. I requested the young woman to leave my house and this town. I listened to the voice of duty only and sent her forth to suffer the consequences of her own sin. <laughs> And now, Miss June, now we get a better acquaintance. You gonna tell me what's the matter, what makes you cry? That's all right. Everybody tell the trouble of Tony. Well, I've been living in Avalonia with some relatives. At first I thought they were very kind to give me a, a home, and, but I soon found out that they wanted me just as a servant. Well, they never treated me very kindly, but... Today, when they found out I'd gone dancing with a man at a roadhouse, they... They put me out in the street. They push you out in the street just because you dance? That's no harm. That dance, that's good. That makes people happy. Of course there was no harm. But my uncle's a very narrow-minded man. He says no respectable girl goes dancing at roadhouses. Eh, uh, you uncle is a cheesy big dumbbells. It was his own son who was with me. And his son, he don't got the courage to stand up and defend you in front of his pop? Oh, he's just a boy. <laughs> he's terribly afraid of his father. You... you like this boy, eh? Yeah? I did, a little bit. He was the only young person around for me to talk to. <laughs> and it was much better that I take the blame. I was so mad at first I really didn't mind. But then when I got out into the street and realized I didn't have any place to go, I guess a sort of a reaction set in and I I suppose I was crying. That's good. It's, it's sometimes it's better when you cry when you don't cry. That make you feel good downstairs inside yourself. I feel much better now, so I won't talk about it anymore. You're very kind, but I'm afraid I must work this out myself. 
I'd better stop right now. But, Signorina, you can kind of go now. It's too late. It's not safe. But, somebody you know, stay here in my camp tonight. Well, how could I? Oh, carissima mia. With me, you are safe. You're the same like in a church. I'm going to make a nice little bed for you. You sleep sound. Nobody's going to harm you. Well, I'm sure I'm safe, but where would I sleep? I don't see how you could manage. <laughs> you don't see. Yes, you don't see. And you've got such a beautiful eyes on top of your head. Look. See? The sky. That's the roof for your house. <laughs> and all of those little stars, see? It's all the millions of the licorice lights. And the trees. With the little wind blown through. That's the walls of your house. Eh? <laughs> the soft green grass. See? That's the carpet. And the big moon. See? I see the bigger policeman. He's gonna watch and guard you all through the night. I wonder why I never noticed that before. <laughs> then you will try my little tail? What do you say? I will. <laughs> now I fix a little bed for you, fit for the queen. Why, that's a wonderful bed. <laughs> and it's so romantic to sleep out here in the moonlight. I suppose you know all about such things because you're an Italian. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> the idea that don't come from no special country. That come from a downstairs in the side. One time you get this idea in the head or the heart. I just stay there all the time. You know, sometimes the romance becomes uh, quick, like the lightning. <laughs> Tell me, Senorina, do you believe in the love at the first lookings? Love is it? I believe because I got him. Good night. <laughs> Thank you for all you're doing for me. That's all right. Sleep tight. Don't worry, you're getting no harm because I'm going to be here for protection of you. Good night. Buona notte. That's a good night in Italian. Buona notte. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. You don't worry. I get them. Capitan, Capitan, what do you think I do? I follow myself head over the heels for the love. Oh, it is beautiful, Capitan. I, did you ever see such a beautiful eyes your whole lifetime? Did you order the wonder of the face? It is crazy for her, Capitan. Te dico la verità questa ragazzina, ragazza bella, bella. Ecco, ecco, ma io non sto notini, io giusto già cascio, vuoi dire già cascio all your life. Now you got your cups of coffee, how you feel this nice uh, wonderful spring morning, eh? I feel wonderful. 
Did you sleep well? No, I don't sleep hardly well last night. Oh, what was the matter? But well, Miss June, I got one of the big boss inside for me. Always tell me what I must do, what I can do, what I cannot do. I must do just what he said. I guess it's time for me to say goodbye. And thank you again for making me very happy. Mrs. June, I want you to do me a special big favor. Why, it would be very easy to grant you a favor. I'd be awfully ungrateful if I didn't. Mrs. June, I want you to go back to Avalonia. Back to Avalonia? Yeah, I got a special risk. Oh, please don't ask me to go back there. Yeah, but Mrs. June, it's a lot of sad for a young girl like you to be going around and buy. She's a sad for nobody to protection her. And that's another thing my big boss is telling me. He said, Tony, you must take Miss June back to she's home. I can't. <coughs> what, Miss June? I got a special friend over there. He do anything for me. And I gonna fix it. You gonna be happy once more with your relatives. That would be impossible. But you don't know who is this friend. This friend I got is uh, the... Uh, his honor, the mayor of Avalonia. <laughs> no, what do you suppose from those? Eh? Why, why, he's my uncle. The man who put me out of his house. My friend, the mayor, he said your uncle will push you out from the house because you're there? Well, don't worry, because when you see me, i going to fix He's going to open up his arms and welcome you back. He's going to say, I apologize, Mr. John, you see. <laughs> He'll never apologize to me. You don't know him. Hey, but you don't know what I, I know. Hey, that mayor is going to eat on top of my hand. Credo me to dig la verità, signor. Oh, excuse me, I forgot. I don't understand my language. You know, I helped that mayor out one time in New York myself. And he's got to be good to you. He may be a great friend of yours, but he certainly isn't a friend of mine. Why, he even refused to give me the money my mother left me. What do you mean? You keep some money that belongs to you? I'm sorry, I... I shouldn't have said that. How much he... You keep, please, tell me, please, how much? Oh, it doesn't matter how much. It was what my mother left me when she died. Hey. But this mayor is gonna treat you good when the tone is pick to him, eh? <laughs> Never run away from the trouble. You snap your thing and the trouble will run away from you. I don't know what to do. You hear the church bell? That's funny, yeah? You shouldn't go back to Avalonia today. They, they won't let you play your organ on Sunday. And if you do, they'll arrest you. <laughs> ah, non you believe you say it. I got a special influence over there. I am gonna play my organ over there and no bother she gonna bother me and I go no trouble at all. Yes. Then goodbye. Because I'm going the other way. Now, Miss June, when you don't go to Avalonia with me, then I'm gonna change it up all of my plans, eh? Oh, no, you mustn't, you mustn't go out of your way for me. Then you, you will go, eh? All right, then, so you, 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 you will go, huh? <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, Joe, you get in the back seat, go on. But I, I have a premonition you shouldn't go. What do you call a premonition? It's, it's a feeling inside of me. Oh, you big boss in that? Well, don't pay no attention to that guy, because I'm going to fix it up with this man, and I'm going to drive right up in front of his house and play. They won't let you. It's against the law. Yeah, we care for the law. What's the matter? I got a special tune. I'm going to play. It's a Sunday tune. <laughs> what do you think it is? Onward. Christmas soldiers. Get up, Capitan, eh? <laughs> Get up, Capitan. Go on. 
Hey, go on, open it, go on, go with that. Get out. <laughs> Get out with that. Say, Ma, what's all that racket out there? Well, there's a hurdy gurdy man in front of the house. Uh, what? A hurdy get in front of this one? Well, I'll soon fix that. Disturbing the peace. Oh, do you arrest me? Gonna put him in a jail? <laughs> that don't make me laugh too much. <laughs> you can't arrest him. He hasn't done anything. He only wants to see Mr. Johnny. Why, John Ramsey? The very idea. Say, how did you and this tramp get together? He's not a very nice gentleman. Why, you brazen hussy! Oh, please, Signora, please, please. That's not a nice thing to say. That's a, say about this, and that's a nice girl. She must be to pick up with riffraff like you. Hey, what do you mean, riffraffs? Shut up. Come along. Oh, Mr. Ripple, uh, please. You just don't want him not to be Mrs. John. Don't worry. This is jail. They don't hold me too long. <laughs> hey, Joe, you take the cart and come down and away from me in front of the jail. Say, when the mayor finds this out, believe me, they're going to spoil it the whole day. <laughs> hey, don't push me. Ask me. Uncle Milton knows Mr. Tony. I, I, I've never saw the fellow before in my life. It's a pack of lies. 
but he says he did a favor for you in New York and that you'd remember it. Please talk to him. I, I, I'm too sick to be bothered. You heard what Mr. Johnny said, and I guess you'd better go. We don't want you here any more than we want Italians. Oh, you're both impossible. Well, if I got the wings of the swallow, the no, 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 Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You get here, 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 children. Get on home now. Don't hang around the streets on the Sabbath day. Start. Get going. Hey, see, please, you're not calling me what, boss. You're not calling me what. I'm a pretty special follower. It's a very good time to be lost, too. It'll be 30 days before you lose, baby. Lord, I said, hey, look. Now, you look like a nice gentleman. You got a nice smile on your face, and uh, uh, I got a big friend in this town, and I want to make a little talks on the telephone, and uh, you do this for me, and uh, I'm going to fix it for you. You fix me. What is it, eh? That's all right, eh? <laughs> well, well, I guess you're done with that. There's the phone. Hey, there's the phone. Oh, cute phone, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Hey. Centrale, Centrale, uh, push him up and down, please. Hi, uh, uh, the nickel? Uh, the nickel is going downstairs. No, I said the nickel is going downstairs. So, you're going to die. I push him upstairs and I go down. Oh, you're giving change. That's the grass, the grass. What number one? Well, let me see. I want a uh, Calamadon uh, tree. Two times around with a head. No, two times around. Two times around. Look like the little donuts. I don't know what you call it in English. I said the cosa piccolina come pepperoni, come to come americana, which is the. Oh, I forgot. You don't speak my language. You, I hate. I'm Italian, fellow. Yeah, Italian. It's not calling me what? Huh? Irish? Oh, that's all right. Irish people is all right. Give me the number. What? All right. All right. Hold up. Hey, hello. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so the, yeah, huh? Yeah, so the, the, uh, the, don't go away, don't go away, don't go away, hello. Hello, man, the, the operation, I was talking with a gentleman, and you, uh, somebody over there, I know it's a gentleman, some woman. Somebody, yeah, you, you, you cut him up. No, I was talking with somebody, and you cut him up. Push him back where they were standing before. Get out of the way, they're coming out, they're coming out. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, the operation cut you up. She cut you up. No, she cut you up. I can hear. Stand up your phone. Well, jiggle up your hook a little bit. I jiggle up mine, jiggle up yours. Well, that's better. Now I can hear myself pretty good. Hello. This is the, this is the Mrs. Mayor? Minnie? Minnie who? Minnie who? who? <laughs> I don't know, she mean, I know I want to talk with the mayor of so this place, the head man. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The head of the... the, head of the, the, head of the, the what's the matter? You can't follow the mayor like that. I don't know he's going to call him. That's me, he's a good friend for me. He's a good friend for me. He likes to talk with me. What is it? Signore, you don't do this to me, Mr. Police. Say, I say, poor commissary Irlandese. I don't know if you're seeing the code. I say, seeing... How do you do, Miss Ramsey? Something I can do for you? I want to speak with Tony Cameradonia, please. Oh, you mean the WAP over there? May I stay with you? Oh, sure. Oh, Mr. June. <laughs> Licardi, don't talk to me that. Oh, Mr. June. Oh, Mr. June. <laughs> Tony, I'm so sorry. I knew this would happen. That's why I didn't want you to come to Avalonia. Oh, that's all right. That must be one of the big joke. Uh, tomorrow I see the mayor. I'm going to fix them all up. <laughs> but that's just it. I saw the mayor. Oh, you see the mayor is all fixed up, eh? It isn't all fixed up, Tony. 
He said he didn't even know you. Oh, this is my, he said he didn't know me. You tell him I was his friend, Tony Camaradonio from New York? He still said he didn't know you. Did he? He said he don't know me. Yes, and that he wouldn't do anything to help you. Maybe you had him confused with some other man. Yes, you know, I don't got a confused. I got a double ups cross. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have let you come. You only did it for me. Tomorrow I'm going to do everything I can to get you out. <laughs> you know, Miss Jones, this jail is not such a bad place after all. <laughs> Miss June, you think I'm just a hardy girlies man, eh? I got a nice flower shops in New York. And pretty soon I'm gonna quit work. I'm going back to Sorrento, Italy. <laughs> I got a nice little house over there. Little oranges groves and some grapes vines. Make the wine. <laughs> you know, I got something I like to tell for you, but you know, I'm not gonna do when I'm in jail. <laughs> I guess I'm one of the big fails to help you, Miss Jones. I think you're a big success. Miss you Jones, know, oh, actually, you don't understand my language. I, I can't explain. I, <laughs> what I want to say, I got, I got him up here, but he won't come down there. <laughs> I, Tell me, Tony, have they given you anything to eat? That's a matter, mother, that you don't give me nothing. If you don't give me something, I'm going to starve myself to the death. <laughs> well, we can't let that happen. I'll go out and send some food back with Joe. I'll get as nice a dinner as I can, but it won't be as nice as the one you cooked for me. Oh, Miss June, you are a sweet girl to this for Tony, eh? <laughs> sweet to the... Uh, order two dinners. I am uh, hungry just like the horses. <laughs> This into Tony. Tell him I've gone to a girlfriend's and I'll see him first thing in the morning. Come on, Joe. Tony's hungry. Oh, all right. Over here. Ooh. Take Ooh. it in. Nice big house. Oh, Joe! Hello, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Oh, hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Don't shoot. Joe. Don't shoot. Joe, that's a good idea. Hold on there. Don't, don't shoot. Joe. Don't shoot. Hold on there. General <laughs> Joe. Shoot. Hold on there, Joe. Damn it. I'm General Joe. Wait. I shoot. Ah, all right, Joe. Push, 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 push him back. Push him back. back. Push, push him back. Yeah. Now, Mr. Jails, you be my guest a little while at my hotel. Hurry up. Go on. Go on. Go on again, sir. <laughs> Joe. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't shoot, Joe. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to shoot you. Don't. I'm going to shoot you. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, we got you. Come on, Joe. Oh, that's Come on, Joe. Hurry up, hurry up, Joe. Joe, now we're going to see why this man say you don't know Tony Camaradon, Mio. Eh? Look, look. Now, I'm going to run fast, and you come so quick with the jackass, so quick and let you come, eh? Hurry up, Joe. Oh, Tony. What's the matter? What? what? 
I haven't shot you yet. Uh, I was looking hard. Now you want to get in again? Uh, all right, go on, go on. Sure, go on. All right, now I'm a dead once more. I hope you're satisfied. Well, Mother, dinner ready? Dinner? I thought you were threatened with smallpox. Well, no, I feel much better now. I, I don't think I'll have smallpox. I don't feel so well after all. Oh, hello, George. Hello, Emma. Can I see Mel? Why, yes, come right in. Oh. Hello, George. I thought you were sick. Well, I, I'm all right now. Say, what about that Dago organ grinder? I got him locked up in the jail. He's nutty. Keep saying he's a friend of yours. Well, you keep him locked up till after the election, see? Okay. Now don't, don't let him talk to anybody. Can't tell what a crazy man like that will do. And when his sentence is up, you run him out of town at night. After 30 days in our jail, he'll be glad to go day or night. Well, I... Got to be going. I ain't had my dinner yet. I'd do better, Mel. So long, George. Glad you came. Well, Mother, I've got you got something nice for dinner. See, too, I'm allowed to get in a small fog, you see? Well, how is my friend of the mayor, eh? Well, how do you do? I, uh, well, step right in. I come in by the door. Can you beat that? Your pa's inviting that foreigner in here. It's funny town you got. You're kind of telling me that I come to see you, nobody believe me. What's the matter? Think a policeman catch me and they push me in the jail. No. Yeah. <laughs> I kick like a cow. I thought of you was a big friend of <laughs> me. And, and, and uh, my wife. And my son. Oh. And this is Mr. Uh, Camradenio, uh, an acquaintance of mine. Uh, from uh, New York. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm glad to meet up with you. Eh? <laughs> uh, um, oh, this is this uh, fine boy who is the son of the mayor. Eh? How do you do? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny thing how I met your husband in there, in New York. Yes, yes. <laughs> But uh, before we go into that, uh, 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 won't you join us? Uh, we are just eating. What? You want me to sit down with your family on top of the table here for... Uh, Why, certainly. Oh, that's so pretty sudden, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't had dinner yet, have you? No. Well, no. then, sit down. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a funny kind of policeman you got in this town. <laughs> that's different than New York, eh? You remember that the uh, big uh, Irish uh, policeman, uh, McCaffrey, or McCarthy, what do you call him? And, uh, uh, we meet the one morning only yeah, by... Won't uh, you, you have some jelly? <laughs> Say, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, didn't you never told your wife uh, how we get acquainted in New York and about the overcoat? Uh, 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 Mama, 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 will, will you please go and get Mr. Cameron Dino uh, some coffee, please? Uh, here, have a fork um, and just uh, some bread for you. Why, an Italian organ grinder broke out of jail and he's going down to shoot the mayor. 
Hey, the desperate captain and his partners are two guns. Quiet, talk about it. Go and get him. Come on, boys. Come on. That's pretty good coffee you got in your house, Mr. Mayor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Say, that was pretty good uh, coffee we get in my Italian friend's uh, cop's coffee shop in New York that day. You remember when? <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. It's a nice day. Music with my meals and don't forget, you know, Mills, ain't you going to stop that racket? <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like the music? Oh, yes, of course you do. Like. What's the matter out there? What is the matter? Uh, what is the cause of all this disturbance? Why, we thought that Watt was going to kill you. Yes, he shot his way out of jail and we thought he was after you. Oh, my friends, my friends. I'm in no danger. This Italian uh, uh, gentleman is an acquaintance of mine. And uh, his arrest was really a very unfortunate mistake. <laughs> See, I told you the mayor and me was just like that. Eh? <laughs> it is quite true. He played the organ on Sunday. But then, uh, he's a stranger, and he does not know our law. You see, I thought he was going to fix everything up for us. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, hold-up uh, was a joke, and the guns were merely cap pistols. <laughs> they were what? Cap pistols. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, uh, my friend, please, please remember that it is Sunday. Disperse quietly and return to your home. And God bless you. Good day, Mayor. That's right. Good day. Good day. I, I suppose you'll be uh, moving along now? I go pretty soon. But before I'm go, I got something I want to talk to you about. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, Mother, uh, you and June better go into the house. I, I, I want to talk to Mr. Uh, Camera uh, Donio. Well, uh, what is it? You are a uh, big fellow, huh? Big mayors. Big friend. But, uh, Senor, I don't think you treat Miss June's pretty good. Oh, 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 that, that's what you want to talk about. Yeah. And, uh, when Miss June gets back to her home, and this uh, inheritance money that she's mama leave her and uh, you treat her pretty good I'm go and I don't say nothing to nobody but when you don't treat her good please, please I suppose I, I was a little hasty.
Gee, I'm glad you're back. I missed you like the Dickens. I thought you were never going to come back. Let's just pretend it never happened. In fact, I'm quite sure I was tasty. You see, I've always had big plans for June. And uh, my son seems to like her rather well. And I'd always hope that, uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure you know what I mean. Yes. I know what do you mean. <laughs> it's a fine big American boy, yeah? <laughs> Great to be a fellow. <laughs> hey, someday you're gonna be a big man like your pops. Be a big man. Marry a beautiful girl. <laughs> hey, make a good husband. Good husband. And you, Tony? What are you going to do? Oh, man, that's right. I go back into the open road, me and George, Capitano, Christopher Colombo with the hardy goddess, and live like the gypsies again. <laughs> Will that make you happy? Happy? <laughs> today, i got lots of happiness today. I have lots of good foods, hear lots of beautiful music, meet a wonderful girl. <laughs> and this dream i got in my heart all these years, uh, it's come true. Tomorrow? <laughs> Who knows, eh? And aren't you ever coming back again, Terry? Oh, sure, I come back some day, yeah. <laughs> well, that's much obliged. Goodbye, Mr. Mayor. Mrs. Mayor. <laughs> Little Mayor. But if you, I, I don't say goodbye. <laughs> I just go. Please. Don't forget. When you are good to Mr. June, and you treat her nice. I don't say nothing. I just go. But when you are mean to her, I come back and I tuck my head off. Gracias. Come on, Joe. Get up, Capitan. Get up, Capitan. Come on. Get up. Get up. Well, Joe, once more we take to the open road. The green fields, and the woods, the stars. And I got nothing left but sweet memories. And I'm much obliged. Go. Go, Kavila. Go. 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 Oh. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. I don't know. It's John, what's the matter? What's the matter? You, those, you have a trouble with those people that kick you out again? No, Tony. No one kicked me out. Well, 
don't know what's the matter. I guess I'm too thick of a set in my head. <laughs> Tell him some more what's this. What I'd rather be here than any place in the world. Well, I'm not saying I am dying with a sadness and now I could kill the whole world. <laughs> well, not the whole world. Just me. Hands up. Well, shoot. What the heck I care? Already I am in heaven. <laughs>